Welcome into our Countdown to First Pitch interview series. Today I'm visiting with Cody Hooten, head coach of the Henderson State Reddies. And coach, um, we start our interview by just kind of briefly recapping last year conference tournament championship for Henderson, uh, the first of its kind in, in, in quite a while for the Reddies. Take us back through that and what kind of momentum that carried for you for the summer and into the fall. Uh, you know, it was obviously a, a, a fun ride. Uh, you know, I think we went into that tournament, uh, you know, upset that we were only the, you know, tied for sixth in the seventh seed or whatever it was. And, uh, you know, didn't feel like we had represented ourselves well to that point. Um, you know, and, and from that standpoint, we, we expected to win and, uh, we had a bunch of veteran guys that, uh, you know, that was their mentality going in is that we weren't some trying to be some Cinderella story. We, we believe, you know, uh, whether it was rational or not, we believe we should win the tournament. And, uh, you know, we were able to, uh, go to a, a place that had haunted us for many years and, and, and pull out a victory. And then, you know, once we got here, you know, uh, I think we felt very confident, you know, in those last two games. Uh, and, and it was, you know, obviously a lot of big pe uh, people coming out with uh, big moments and, and doing uh, uh, you know, uh, amazing things. And then, you know, obviously that coming into this year that, uh, you know, that monkey's off our back a little bit. And we, you know, maybe we can relax and go play a little bit more than we have in the, in the last few years. Well, and like you said, so many veteran players and just guys that we had talked about year after year after year. So um, I'm assuming you got a lot of new players this year. Uh, there, there's several new faces, uh, especially offensively. Um, but there's still there's still a little bit of a veteran presence as well. OK, yeah, I'm still um, trying to figure out with COVID cancellation year yeah. and COVID seniors. And I think maybe one more year we'll be able to figure that out. But yeah. Um, Recruiting wise, what were you looking for during the summer, Coach? What what spots did you need to fill? How you know we had a lot of a lot of big holes uh, in our lineup. Uh, you know, we, we returned you know uh, a lot too. Uh, some guys that have been very productive, but you know, obviously, when you lose, you know, uh, Myers, Colasanto, Mitchell, um, you know, those were not only just. Uh, you know, guys that got hits and, 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 you know, did those things. Those are guys who have been a presence in our program for a long time. Uh, you know, so uh, more than anything, we, you know, we, we needed to find guys who, uh, you know, part of winning programs, knew how to win, uh, knew how to be leaders. And, uh, you know, and we feel like we've done that. We feel like we're uh, as good as, we've ever been offensively so pitching wise coach who's you got anybody coming back you want to mention or anybody new you want to mention there and most uh i mean out, outside of uh some some big holes you know langston patterson baker i mean those are really the only three we lost uh uh so uh, we got a lot of innings coming back uh we got some guys that are gonna have to step up into roles that you know, they're, they're not as accustomed to, uh, but we feel like they're more than equipped to do that. Uh, you know, one thing that the, the COVID year allowed us to do, we, we, we were able to red shirt really four freshmen last year that in a normal year, there's no way we could have red shirt. Them. Uh, wow. but we had, you know, with, with those guys coming back, um, you know, that, that allowed us to do that. Um, you know, and, and it was it was tough on our part because there were several times throughout the year where we, you know, we were real close to saying, "Heck with that, let's let's get them out there on the field." But we were out allowed to red, able to redshirt them, and, and that uh, you know that has opened the door uh, for them to to fill some holes and have four more, you know four years of eligibility. But you know, obviously, we got Spencer Tack back, uh, which uh, you know, not many people have a guy who's. 91, 94, you know, at this level to, to, you know, head up the rotation 
Uh, and then Kate Tucker, who's another guy who's really, really good uh, for us last year out of the pen. He, you know, he, he'll be in a starting role. Um, and we still have Austin Cross, who's been here playing since the 70s, I think. And, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, he, he, he's going to help us out. Ethan Perry, uh, a, a bunch of other – Braden Beebe, another guy who's been here for a long time, uh, that are going to uh, have some big innings for us. Coach, the schedule. You begin the year at Majestic Park there in Hot Springs, and that's where the GAC is going to end the year for the first time at the conference tournament. Um, just talked to Washtaw's head coach about that. He's going to be there too. So what's it going to be like for the Reddies to, to be able to play on that beautiful facility with so much history there in Hot Springs? Uh, you know, as, as you know, uh, baseball history buff, it's really cool uh, to – to get to play, you know, at a, at a site, you know, where so many of the legends, uh, played a hundred years ago. Um, and, and at the same time it being a new facility, um, you know, and, and the competition level there, it's going to be a good tournament. Uh, we'll, we'll find out where we're at real quick. Uh, you know, it's got a chance to be, got a chance to, to determine that tournament has a chance to determine some, some regional bursts when it's all said and done. I mean, those, those might be the game, you know, the tie breaking moments. Uh, uh, Cause there's some, some good in, in region teams from outside our conference there. Uh, and several of our, you know, uh, you know, uh, conference teams who, who expect to be in, in that position too. So it, it'll be, it'll be really neat uh, being right down the road and, um, and, and, you know, maybe help, uh, you know, promote some of that history that, that Hot Springs has. And, you know, it's a very deep, rich history of, of kind of the or some of the origins of baseball, or at least when it really took off. So uh, maybe it'll bring some recognition to that as well. Yeah, you got Missouri Western, uh, you got Delta State. I mean, there's going to be some tough games in there. But, yeah, I, I kind of look at it as, um, you know, away from just the baseball field, but you may have some – teams from the region out of state that kind of want to come to hot springs and want to make that a destination with the, uh, with, with baseball. So I think that's going to be really neat. And then of course, conference tournament there in May. So um, coach, lastly, I think I would just ask, um, you know, it, it's been such a wild ride the last couple of years. We thought we were all kind of getting back to normal. We're really not quite there yet. Um, what, what is your, kind of message to your team less than a month to the start of the season to make sure they're doing what they need to do and staying safe and, and doing the right things. How, what's your message to the group right now? Yeah. You know, I mean, like we've told them obviously when, when the, when the season got canceled in 2020, I don't think any of us really thought it would affect you know, once we left, you know, there in March. Yeah. I don't think anybody thought, uh, Oh, this won't even affect the fall. When we got to the fall and, you know, uh, obviously it still did. And, you know, once we finished last year, it was kind of uh, cases were way down. It was, you know, maybe we're on the other side of this and then clearly we're not. So that, my message has been since the fall that, you know, just expect this to be the new normal, uh, be ready for anything. Uh, everybody on our roster needs to be ready because who knows, you know, what our roster is going to look like from week to week, uh, you know, that you know, more than any, anything, guys, guys that don't play opening day, uh, you know, shouldn't get down because there's, there, you know, there's always a chance of injury and this and that, but I mean, you know, heck we might go into a weekend missing three of three or four of our best guys who knows. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so everybody has to be ready. Everybody has to be, do their, due diligence uh, to make sure they stay on the field. I mean, it's it's definitely, you know, 20 years or so ago when I got into prof this profession, vaccines and social distancing and masking is really not something I thought was going to be a priority, but it, it we're to the point where that may be as important as anything we do in practice or in a yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. New world for sure. And uh, we'll root for no snow in February as right. well. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right, Coach Hooten, thank you for the time. Good luck to Henderson this year. Thank you very much. Uh -huh.